Hey, Brian from Garage Bull Hall. Today I have this Room Tech 46 inch dog grooming table. So that's the box. That's about how wide it is. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. So it looks like we got edges all the way around. Looks like I could probably slide it out from this side. So we're going to spin it and slide it. Side so we can throw some trash in as we go. So looks like we got the kind of like the holder bar thermal bombs in the back. And it is really well packed, which is good. As you can tell as I styrofoam all over the place and that has a that's a nice like, kind of like a traction rubber on the bottom there and I got a basket full of stuff back here so let's try to move the uh, table legs kind of give you an idea So it looks like this is that little hanging basket piece. And how does that go right there? Alright, so this looks like it kind of clips on through there. It looks like this shouldn't have come off, but it looks like in our case that came off during shipping. So let me get my handy dandy pliers out here. Snap back on pretty good. So depending on how yours gets packed, you may oh this side is this side is the same way. So I don't know if they packed on purpose or this is just kind of like how it traveled through shipping. And again, I just take a plier, bend it back a little bit, kind of wiggle it into place, and it looks like we got those clips safe and sound to where they gotta go. No big deal. Okay, so owner's manual, dog grooming table, that's it, nice and thin. So uh, it basically comes pre-assembled, kind of. So you got your legs, you got your leader. Looks like we got some pieces here, a little loose part. Push this forward. Parts we get in here. bag. So you got these uh, little T-frames and it looks like you have all these little little dial-in bolts that go in there. So that was pretty good. And then this is their, I guess you got two two leash type things here. I think it's one's for their, their back side and the other one is going to be for their, their front collar. But don't quote me on that. Let me just see how we go through and we take a look at this. straightforward. Right, so first things, since I had this elevated, I did that to kind of make things a little bit, a little bit easier on everybody for viewing purposes. Let's get this basket off to the side real quick. And so on this side, I'm just going to flip around. It's got a little bit of weight to it, so, but looks like we pull this leg out. That locks into place pretty quick. And then that looks like that's going to lock into place pretty quick. 
as well. Pull down on that because that looks nice and secure. I'll flip this tail around. So, and next I'm going to drop my uh, my workstation down. All right, so this makes it a little bit easier for us to do the next couple steps. And then here's some other pieces. Like kind of like some of these clamps that we're going to have as we go through. And this basket looks like it kind of goes right here. So you can put a bunch of little accessories and stuff underneath there. And then for the instructions, all right, so once you put these clamp rails kind of out here at the, the back and we want to put the clamp part down at the bottom so we'll whiz that around okay so that piece is going to go there and obviously probably like right in the center is probably going to be good and then you kind of clamp that down and you definitely can put some strength on that so make sure that that piece doesn't go anywhere and then same thing as we clamp down on this end I guess that's probably about the center. This doesn't have to be perfectly center, but for intents and purposes of the viewing audience, let's keep it down the center. Then that gives you your quarter clamp on the other side. So we're going to actually roll that back a little bit so we can slide the pieces down. All right. Get that nice and secure. Okay. So Looks like that is going to be your long pole, and it has some masking tape on it. I have gloves on. I'm gonna, not even going to remotely try to remove those. So, just as they tear apart, probably remove it. Okay. All right. So this looks like tear some of the frayed ends. I can get off, I guess, as we go. All right. This you can open up and adjust. So basically, any height underneath the sun. So we're gonna make this on the low side, and I'll kind of guide you through that. Put this on this side. So your holes are here, you want them facing up towards the top, and then you are going to have, basically this is going to be, so this is going to be a fitted piece, and I will put that side on the outside, so that kind of slides in, and put one of these bolts in here to hold that in place, and this you can probably put on a little on the snug side, so... Actually, I think you want the whole spacing to go down on that side. Let me just reposition this again. Yeah, so what you're doing is you're putting these keys, these bolts, these knobs, so you can see the holes. So that's where you're going to insert your leash. So you kind of want each end facing like this. Slide this end over here. Slide this one over here. So you gotta kind of twist it a little bit, make it form, make it fit a little bit better. Let me just loosen this up here. Let me loosen this one up here. Give it a little bit of slack. There, so that fits much better. On that peg. So that's that. So we're gonna put this up towards the top here. And then we'll put our two other knobs in, kind of hold this in place. But I like that it's completely adjustable. 
So depending on what you're looking for, height-wise, you can do that. So we'll kind of tighten that down off of that position. That side. Hold that bar. And then you can tell, you can raise it up pretty high. these knobs up for position. And you can easily raise it up as high to, as you need it for the height of whatever pet you got going on here. And I'll lower this down a little bit more. But let's bring it back down so we can see how the leash end works. Let me lower the workstation. All right, so I got the table lower. So what we can do is raise this up to where you think you need it. And we'll put that in place there. Put that in place there. So it has this clamp, so you can go, go up, and then depending on where you want to clamp for your pet, you can go in any type of different configuration that you wanted. So you got one that can go for the front, you got one that goes for the back to hold their, their butt up in the air, and then this adjustment collar goes up, so it comes down. So depending on what you need to do, and then you can lock this in place on the tail, on the front, any configuration that you need. So super adjustable. And then like I said, if you have a taller animal, like a golden retriever or German Shepherd, you have Bernese Mountain Dog, so she's on the bigger side, you can put this really high up in the air to accommodate a very large pet. Like I said, it takes a little finesse to get each side where you want it to. And then once it's locked in place, it's nice and tight, and then you're good to go. So let me bring this all the way down so you can see how high. So that is basically almost extended all the way out. So let's get this all the way to the top so you can see Looks like you got to kind of jockey back and forth a little bit to get it to perfect height, depending on how you go. But you'll be able to zone this in. Give me an idea. I'm probably, I don't know, about eight inches off the ground. This is how high this this piece is. Uh, I'm about five eight. To give you a kind of idea how high I am, to get, so you can for maneuverability. But yeah, I mean, if I move this forward. So that is me standing next to the table. So this will give you a definitely a great moving area to get around your uh, your dog, or I guess you could probably even use it for a larger cat too. But yeah, absolutely awesome, super adjustable. You can move these wherever you needed them for to give them support for their backside or their neck, anywhere into the middle. So I'm gonna make it go in a little bit further. So, whatever size uh, pet you have. Anyway. Hey, so uh, this is Sophie. She is our Bernice Mountain uh, Boxer Mix. And uh, she's being really cooperative. She stood for about three seconds on this, so I wasn't able to get the, her strapped in to keep her standing up. That'll be like the next challenge. But she's 105 pounds. I don't know if I'm supposed to say her weight. 
you know, for the world to know, but she's 105 pounds. So this table easily holds her, fits her. Uh, when she was standing for a brief moment, she came to it probably about here. So you get pre uh, plenty of room on this. Uh, this fit around her, uh, her neck pretty good. Uh, this, she's got like those wide hips. So we're probably gonna have to get uh, something a little bit different to help hold her up. But uh, anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal and uh, Sophie, be safe out there.